So when coding in Swift, there are two selves, one with the uppercase, which is a type, one with the lowercase, which is an object. So I thought I'd show some examples of that to explain the difference. So here's my playground that you can download from the GitHub repo. But what we're looking here is the difference between self and self. So self with a capital letter is a type, but you also have a property on the type which represents self. So in this logger example, when we're logging self, we can print self.self, .self, which is the property on the type. And printing that gives the word logger because it's basically a debug string that's given out by a type. Whereas printing self with a lowercase is this particular instance of the object. So the object here is logger, and this instance comes out as LLDB expression 5, but you could also do things there like print out the memory location of that particular instance. Now that seems quite technical, but not to worry. If we look at a more real example of this person struct. So this is where you might use self, say in a test target. So you'd put this perhaps in the test target and this is your production code. And every time you want to test a person, you might not want to type in a name each time for each test. So you can have a static function which returns a type. So we initialize that type with a particular name. So we can enter your particular name and print out that type. And you can also have a static function to create, say, an array of that type of person. So that uses that particular static function there. And to make it even more real, here's something I might use in a project. If I have a view controller and want to instantiate my view controller from a zip file, then I might use a static function like this. And it has self everywhere. So the protocol defines the function signature there, but this self is a type. So I'm going to return the type, which is an instance of self. So we initialize the self with a nib describing self, and in this case, it would be a UI view controller, and the bundle for the self, which would be the current bundle. So you could use self and self in this way to be able to say, create instantiable view controllers. I hope this video has been of use to you. Self is of no difference than any other keyword within Swift, being that a capital letter at the beginning means a type and a lowercase letter at the beginning of the keyword means an object. So I hope this has given you a firmer grasp of what all those self keywords mean. And maybe I'll see you next time.